me slip it out in public, period. my channel it's your first time here my name is Chrissy hello and welcome so in today's video y'all as your plus size fairy gut mother I am back to get y'all together to get y'all right for the summer okay so in today's video I'm going to give you my list of things that every plus size or curvy baddie needs to make it through summer okay this is gonna be your Plus size curvy baddie survival kit, all right? So I need y'all to get a pen, a paper, the notes on your phone, and jot everything I'm about to say down because I'm about to give y'all the true tea. These are things that I do in my everyday life, especially during summer, because y'all know during summer is hot when you kind of be, when you're a little chubby, be you got a little extra, extra some summer for you, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you stay ready. So you ain't gotta get ready, okay? That's my mantra. Those are words to live by. So I hope that y'all enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Turn your notification bells on. Comment down below. Y'all know I love to talk to y'all. And let's just jump into it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, the first thing that you're gonna need and your plus size and curvy baddie survival tip, because y'all know we like to be outside. We go to day parties during the summer, brunch beach, wherever you're going, baby, a date, you need a hygiene bag. Baby, if you leave the house without your hygiene bag, baby, what is you doing, okay? We have to keep it right and keep it tight, okay? One thing about me, like we all know, we all know, come here, because though I feel like you know, we all know that plus size women, okay, bigger girls have a stigma, a stereotype that is very much just a stereotype because it's mainly not true that, um, you know, sometimes the girls be having a little bit out. Now, I will say because we have a little bit more crevices and a little bit more extra, you know, fluff on our bodies, we have to make sure that we are cleaning properly. We have to make sure that we double up on our showers or all our hygiene products during the summertime. But for me, I love to keep a hygiene bag on me. And now I'm a mini bag girl, so sometimes it's to say in my car, if you carry a bigger enough purse, then you can keep a little pouch on you. And everyone's hygiene bag is going to be specific to them. So whatever, I'm not gonna say your problem areas, but whatever you may know, that you need to brush up on during the summer months or just period then that should be inside of your hygiene bag so i'm just gonna give you guys a few things that are inside mine one is a tie to go i'm a messy girl <laughs> like i don't know what it is i'm clumsy i fall i brush up against things when i'm eating somehow things get on me like i try to take all precautions but i have to have my tie to go as a backup like it's just a must like I cannot be out slipping without it because I get something on me and I'm not able to go back home and I'm not able to change and I don't have time to go baby I'm gonna be in a tizzy okay I keep breast mints on me now these should always be in your purse like this is like an obvious thing you gotta keep a breast mint girl I'm a girl that likes a lot of garlic I'm a girl that likes a lot of onion and this breast baby you never know who you're gonna meet when you come out especially if you're single baby keep that breath fresh all right Another thing that I love to keep is this Crest Scope. Um, it's kind of like a Listerine spray, like a breath mint spray. Love to keep that as well. Sometimes I double up because like I said, I like a lot of scent heavy foods. Like garlic me up please. Onion me up please. I love fish. I eat stuff like that every time I go out. I have to make, and I love coffee too. All my coffee girls, keep it on you please. Now another thing that sometimes I'm very insecure about is is armpit stains or just becoming musty and sweating. I'm a sweater, you guys. I sweat often. Like, I'm a big time sweater. I sweat when I'm nervous. I sweat when it's hot. Like, I wanna get Botox under my armpits, but for right now, I have to keep my deodorant on me. So I love to keep this Dove deodorant spray it's so tiny you can just slip it in your purse they also if you go to target and like their little travel section they also have um smaller versions of most of the deodorant sticks that you might use but this one i love because this one you can kind of do like 
a little inconspicuously. You know, you kind of just like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's very discreet. You just spray up real quick and it dries clear. So you won't have any deodorant stains or anything like that. It definitely works. I also like to use a two-step deodorant kind of situation when I'm here after a shower and just make sure that I'm really good. But this, y'all, this is gonna be your best friend, especially if you're a sweaty girl like me. I'm not afraid to admit it, okay? Now, another item that I like to keep in my hygiene bag is the spritzer by Queen Bee. The deodorant spray, but for your badge, okay? This has to stay with me at all times, you guys. Remember I talked about this in my hygiene video. When you have big thighs, you're bound to get sweaty down there, okay? And I, for one, cannot stand when I sit in a chair or somewhere and then I get up and that little sweat stain is there. Yeah, no, you need to get this. This will keep you fresh and this will keep you dry all the time. It's also really important to stay dry down there so that we are not accumulating bacteria to keep us away from the risk of infections. So I love this spray. It is vegan, it is pH balanced. Um, you can find this on Amazon. Amazon. It was sold out last time I looked for it on Amazon, so I will look for it somewhere else. Or if this is sold out everywhere else, then I will put another um, similar product and replacement down there, but I'll still make sure it's all good and vegan -y and stuff. The next product for my hygiene bag is a little facial spray. This one is by Mario Badescu. I love this spray. This is his rose water with aloe facial spray. Now, because, like I said, I'm a sweaty girl, I like to keep my makeup on point, so you can get a little facial spray like this is also very refreshing or you keep like a tiny um setting spray in your bag now this next thing y'all are gonna be like christine you're so extra but it's because i'm vague if you are a wig wearer baby i might keep in my hygiene bag in my little purse i might you might see me with a little lace glue okay especially because it's hot and it's sweaty and sometimes this lace likes to act up and act like she pays bills around here so if i can slip this slide out to the bathroom real quick and reapply and I'm gonna show y'all another item that I'm gonna do it with. Then you better believe that I'm gonna do it. I also love to keep a tiny little pouch like this just in case I am wearing a mini bag. And this little pouch just has things in it like a needle and thread. I am that friend that stays prepared, y'all. It has a needle and thread in it, it has a nail file, it has cotton swabs, it has um, Q tips, it has a little toothbrush with a little Listerine like this. This is everything you need in the bag. This is called the Damsel in Distress, like a little travel pouch. And this can also be found on Amazon. I'll have this all linked on my Amazon storefront. I'm telling y'all, I have to stay ready because if something happens to me while I'm out, y'all know I'm very like, I need to look right okay i will be in a tizzy if i do not have something so whether it's in my car or in my purse understand that i got it on me all right babe so the next thing that everybody needs plus size or not you need your signature scent for the summer like you need something that just screams summer that's like light airy romantic sexy that catches everyone's attention now i feel like i've talked to you guys about these two fragrances before but my my two top summer fragrances are Gucci Flora and Irresistible by Givenchy. These two right here, baby, when I tell you, like summertime in a bottle, they're just like so sexy. I wouldn't call them necessarily light and airy. I do think they're light and they're kind of sweet, but not like a little girl sweet. They're like sexy, feminine sweet. I feel so feminine when I'm wearing both of these. I get so many compliments on both of these, especially the Givenchy Irresistible Baby and this Gucci Flora. Like, it's so good. They're long wearing. I can literally smell myself throughout the day. I get so many compliments compliments from men as well and it's just important that you're out here and smelling good everybody smells good everybody has a little luxury fragrance everybody has their signature fragrance so i definitely recommend that y'all go to a sephora that you go to macy's nordstrom's wherever that is and find your perfect summertime fragrance and if you're just starting your fragrance collection i recommend getting a day fragrance and a night fragrance for the summer but these two baby trust me i never steer you in the wrong direction and while you're picking up your fragrance baby make sure that you get your fragrance 
fragrance samples. Yes, these little things right here. Now this is a hat that I got from my mama, okay? Now you can keep these in your hygiene bag, your purse, wherever. Keep these little samples or get travel sizes of whatever fragrance you have, okay? These come in handy when you're out at the bar, when you're out at the parties, when you're at brunch, okay? Sometimes we go into public restrooms and they smell so bad. Or sometimes, girl, you might have to let something out that Listen, I'm not in y'all business, but you need to keep a little fragrance on you, okay? Spray up in that bathroom. My mom always said you keep this on you. Spray up in the bathroom so people don't think it's you, okay? And you might need to spray up when you come out, okay? It's just so easy to keep a little fragrance on you all the time, especially if you don't want to carry your fragrance bottles with you or you don't have the actual travel size. It's so easy. It fits in every mini bag and you can do a little spray up and spritz and a little refresh, especially if you have a long day, girl. Bro, you gotta have to refresh up a little bit. All right, babe, so next up, now this is for my women of color specifically, okay? You need a baddie proof hairstyle. You need a baddie sweat proof, summer proof, everything proof hairstyle, okay? Now, you know I am a girl that loves my extensions, that loves my wigs, okay? But I'm not gonna lie, I love my inches, but they are not the best summer um, appropriate hairstyle, at least for me. Like I said, this be getting caught everywhere. It be getting caught in my rolls. It be kind of caught everywhere. There be hair everywhere. It's hot. It's a lot of hair. But if you love to use units as your protective style, I recommend going into like a wet and wavy type of vibe, a deep wet so you can go to the pool parties, okay? A little waterproof um, wig glue so you can get in the pool, act like it's yours, you know? A little short bob. You guys know I live for a bob and I typically am in a bob during the summer. Now for my other baddies, my natural baddies, braids, okay, straight bags, fold locks, all those great things. Anything that is easy and that will stay intact during the summer months, like my natural hair girls that love a silk press, baby, I don't know how y'all wear it during the summer, I would never get caught dead because my hair likes to turn like this. Whether you go a slick back bun, a ponytail, something, that hair needs to stay in place. I don't know if y'all are like me, but honey, I am a deep butt through and through. And if I'm having an off hair day and my hair isn't right, nothing is right okay so i have to make sure that i am prepared for any type of weather any type of heat any type of humidity all of that y'all sometimes i keep a little bit of lace glue on me and a mini fan okay a mini fan is the next item that you need in your body survival kit okay pretty much you're just gonna have to carry a tote bag at this point okay i don't know where my mini fan is but mini fans come in handy you can walk around with it you need a little brush of air like i said i'm very much a deep i'm very much that girl i love a bare natural beat during the summer just lashes and lip gloss but sometimes i like to beat my face and i need my fan to keep the sweat off of me okay and even if i get a little lace lifting i can apply a tiny bit of glue okay have a little comb on me it's another thing you need to always keep a comb and then just use my fan in the bathroom to kind of make sure that she's down okay like i said Y'all will never catch me slip it out in public, period. All right, babe, so the next thing you are going to need to survive the summer for my thick thigh grows. Vaseline or Aquaphor. I'm an Aquaphor girl myself, okay? It's healing, it's real nice and thick. You need petroleum jelly, something that's real nice and thick. Put this in between your thighs, girl, and this prevents chub rub, okay? <sighs> baby i don't know how many times during the summer i've been wearing pants or shorts and they're rubbing up against my thighs and it's even created like a little like sore or cut in between your thighs you get a real candid in this video okay a little tmi but aquaphor will prevent all of that you guys you don't need the shaping shorts you don't need any of that extra stuff go to target go to your local drugstore whatever and get this for a couple of dollars roll it on before you leave the house you can take it with you if you need to reapply throughout your day 
this will literally save your life and your thighs, honey. All right, babe, so we're almost done. We're down to our last two things, and this one is super important. You need your vitamins, honey. I forgot to bring my vitamins and stuff over here with me, but I showed you guys in my last video, I have been taking a Bellway Super Fiber Supplement, which is a powder supplement that you basically mix with water. And Now, fiber keeps you fuller or longer, but it also helps with your bloating. Also, take the Hum Nutrition Flatter Me Vitamins and just any other vitamin that you need for your own body now I take those vitamins just to help with my digestive health and to get rid of bloating I am a girl that bloats like I don't know what it is why I bloat so easily I really need to be on like a low sodium you know diet but I'm a foodie I like my drinks I like my tequila I like my cocktails okay I like all of that so I have to make sure I'm good like I said I love aesthetics and you mean to tell me I'm gonna be out here bloated while it's hot during the summer and I already got tummy and I'm already a little bit? Absolutely not. Whatever I have to do to get rid of my bloating is what I'm gonna do. So those products will be linked down below. You can also go back to my last video and see my full review on Bellway. Bellway is absolutely amazing. It's gluten free, it's vegan. This part isn't even sponsored. I just genuinely believe in the product and I live for it. All right babe, so last but definitely not least, this is probably the most important thing. You need a fire hygiene routine. Like I said, during the summer, you might have to add a couple of extra steps depending on how sweaty of a girl you are I have a full hygiene routine and the best hygiene product here on my channel I did about a month ago so I will link that down below but you need to make sure that you are together girl no VO no none of that this summer okay we're gonna make sure that we are clean that we are smelling good you also need a bomb skincare routine like I said during the summer it is the months that you will find me out giving a bare face slay okay sometimes it's just too hot to have on a full face of makeup so make sure that your skin is on point I personally love anything with vitamin C in it it just brightens up my skin it makes my skin glow um, it just works really really well for my skin I have been loving the Tula products recently I used it um, I think like in a couple of vlogs back I showed you guys all of my Tula products so I will leave them a link down below but they're absolutely amazing they just leave my skin feeling so hydrated so nourished so if you want to be out here and just being a bare face baddie you just browse the lashes and a gloss then make sure that your skincare is on point and also to my women of color if you do not have an SPF whether it's a moisturizer with the SPF a primer with an SPF you need to get one I will put a couple up here down below in the description box that I use and that I love and that are brown girl certified a lot of people of color think that we don't need SPF and baby yes we do that's something I've learned in the past couple of years and I have added to my skincare regimen it will keep your skin looking youthful protected from the sun rays and everything else out here y'all so make sure you get your SPF SPF. All right, so you guys, that is at the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this was fun for you. I hope that you apply any of this to your baddie survival kit if you do not have it already because what do we say? We're gonna stay ready so we don't have to get ready. I love y'all so, so much as your plus size for a godmother. I hope this helped and I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah.